Hi, welcome to the Microjig Shop, and congratulations on your recent investment in the Gripper. My name is Morgan, and today we're going to be going over just about everything you could possibly need to know about the Gripper, the first of which is unboxing and assembly. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do when we open this box is make sure that everything is there. First thing is your user manual. Next is your warranty registration card. The actual main body of the Gripper, a center leg. We have a quarter inch leg a half inch leg, bag of hardware, your handle, and your balance support. Now that's for the GR100. The GR200 is everything that comes in the GR100 box with two additional accessories. The stabilizing plate, the adjustable spacer, and their hardware. Let's start assembly by attaching the handle to the main body. And to do that you need the two quarter 20 screws the two large oval nuts and two large washers that came in your hardware bag. Put the washer onto the screw first and then put the screw into the holes at the top of the handle. And then with the bulge side facing the handle, we screw on our large oval nuts. Again, washer onto the screw first, then screw into the hole on the handle, and then bulge side facing the handle, you thread on the large oval nut. Now it's ready to go onto the main body. The screws and nuts are in your handle. We're ready to put it onto the main body. So you just slide the oval nuts into the T-slots on top of the main body. Just center the handle and tighten the screws. Those T-slots are going to keep that oval nut in place. All right, first step down. Let's keep moving. Once the handle's on, we're going to put the center leg on. You're going to use these small dovetail nuts. You insert it at the holes at each end of the center leg from the inside facing out. Then just insert those dovetail nuts into the T-slots on the ends of the main body. Now you see there's a screw sticking out on each end. So you just take your smaller washers, put that on the screw first, and then these green female knobs. All right, center leg is on. We're almost there. Each leg attaches with two screws, two washers, and two O-rings. And I'm gonna show you what those O-rings are for in a minute. So you simply slide the washer onto the screw and then the screw into the inset hole on the outside of the leg. Now we'll hold it there while we slide the O-ring onto the screw on the other side of the leg. Once you put these O-rings on, you'll likely never see them again, but the reason they're there is so that when you remove the legs, you don't want to lose any of this hardware. The screw or the washer are very small or easy to get lost. And the O-ring keeps it in place, so even if you remove the leg, O-ring's going to keep that there so you never have to worry about losing it. Now just align the screws with the brass inserts on the main body and screw it in. Half inch leg's on. Let's do the quarter inch leg. The quarter inch leg goes on exactly the same way. Bounce support is really easy to put on. It just goes on with two of these green knobs, two washers, and again two O-rings. So just put the washer over the knob and then insert the knob into the slot on the outside of the balance support and then roll that O-ring on to the inside and you'll see there's a little recessed channel here for that O-ring to sit in. And again, it can attach to either the quarter inch leg or the half inch leg. Both sides have brass inserts for the balance support knobs to go into. All right, see, that wasn't so bad. Gripper's assembled, now we can move on to the fun stuff. Okay, if you're still with us, that means that you have the GR200 and you've got some more accessories to learn about. The stabilizing plate and the adjustable spacer. So let's go ahead and dive right in with the adjustable spacer. Locate your blue hardware bag that came in your GR200 box. You'll notice that the adjustable spacer requires the exact same hardware that the balance support does, and it attaches to the gripper the exact same way. So you already know how to do this. But to refresh your memory, it requires two of these knobs, two black O-rings, and two steel washers. And just like we did with the balance support, the washer goes over the knob, and then you insert the knob into the outside of the adjustable spacer. And again, just like the balance support, you slide an O-ring on to the other side, and it sits inside of this recessed channel here. There we go. O-rings are doing their job. They're not going anywhere. See, the adjustable spacer attaches to the opposite side that the balance support is on. And it goes in the exact same brass inserts that the balance support would go into. All right, the adjustable spacer is going to give you an additional inch of ripping capacity on your gripper. Okay, let's go ahead and get our stabilizing plate ready for use. 
You'll notice that there's two sides. One side has a recessed channel and the other side is flush. The T-bolts are going to go into the recessed side and that's the bottom. You see that the stabilizing plate is flush on the table and those bolts aren't dragging on it. Now you take your red O-rings that came in your blue hardware bag and you slide that down over the T-nut down to the base of the T-nut. Next we take our shoulder washers and we slide those down with the flat side facing up. Now we just take our wing knobs and we screw those on to the T-bolts. Now the stabilizing plate attaches to the balance support by sliding the shoulder washer into these notches here. Well done. Now your grippers assembled and ready for use.